Red Finesse stars Leonardo DiCaprio as, I believe, Hugh Glass? I know his name is, his name is Glass, but I think his first name is Hugh. Anyways, this is a true story that takes place in the 1820s, if I'm not mistaken, of Hugh Glass, who was left for dead, pretty much, and now is on a quest for revenge to, of course, the man who not only did him wrong, but also murdered his son as well. This movie, right here, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is what's going to get Leo another Oscar nomination, if not the damn trophy itself. Because at this point, he has done every fucking thing. This movie is no exception. He barely has anything to say in this movie. And if he does, he says it not only in English, but I do believe it's Indian. Because his son is half Indian, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh... Yeah, badass. This, this, the way this movie is shot alone is awesome. Just the attention, the detail for lighting, the outdoors, all that stuff. This movie cost 135 million. It's just how it's shot in the forest. For God's sake, everything is natural. Why is it so much money? I don't I don't get that. But it is well spent. So hopefully when the movie comes out in January. When it's going to have a wide release. It can make its money back like American Sniper. Because it deserves your money. Leonardo DiCaprio is spectacular. Tom Hardy is awesome. Tom Hardy is mumbling his way through this movie again. The same of his lawless days a little bit, but you can't hear what he's he can hear what he's saying most of the time. But with him mumbling again, this reminds me of Lawless. Oh my God, Lawless is such a great movie. What are you doing? <laughs> if anybody can mumble his way through a fucking movie, it's Tom Hardy. Oh my God. <laughs> best two actors in this fucking movie they really do steal the entire movie from when even when they're not together on scene on screen it's just amazing to watch the the music i love the music in this movie it's so horrible ish sounding in a good way because everything is just so fucked up this movie is fucked up beyond belief man it is violent very very violent you know ah, man I, I loved it I fucking loved it Birdman was not a fluke you're, you're doing it again man I can't even pronounce your name I will not even try to attempt to pronounce your name out of respect I don't want to fuck that up Two for two? You are going to go a long, long way with your career, my man. Seriously, I'm, I'm not joking because a year after Birdman, you bring us this masterpiece. It's just great. Now, it's not a perfect movie. The movie is two hours and 36 minutes, which is not too long for me. I actually like the fact that it's long. It kind of drags in spots, and you might grow tired of it before the movie's over with. But you do, you will enjoy yourself. But you might get a little tired of it before the movie's over with. For people who are not a fan of cinema like that, that's pretty much the best way I can put that for you. But with that being said, The Revenant will get an A from me because amazing. Just simply amazing. There's, oh my god, I love Oscar season. I, I, I just love it. Not a bad movie in the house. You can have a disappointing movie, but you will never have a terrible one so far. So, yeah. 
I'm loving it. I am loving it. Let me know what you guys think about The Revenant down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I will see you guys in my review of Spotlight later.